Hello unicorns and welcome back to another video. Just in case you're new, my name is Natalie and this is my Cafecito y Pan Dulce YouTube channel where we have coffee talks about anything and everything. Okay, I need to put this down because it's still kind of really hot. <laughs> long time it doesn't feel that long because i uploaded a couple videos at the beginning of quarantine but now it feels a little bit like it feels a little bit longer for me because i feel like i haven't regularly filmed or just filmed in general in a really long time so um a lot of life updates but don't worry this video is a little bit more than that well okay for it to make sense i have to explain that i now live on my own well not completely on my own but i moved out of my parents house and i now live in a house with one of my friends that i met at the nature center last year which was the job that kind of made me super busy and then i stopped filming videos i got an actual teaching job and then quarantine happened and now we're here we're all here <laughs> yay <laughs> so what was I saying? Oh yeah, so I live on my own now and I have a roommate. She's at work right now. Her name is Maddie. I'm sure you guys will meet her in the future. As of right now, I still feel only comfy enough to vlog by myself. So, what was I saying? Ugh, let me sit down because I feel weird standing up. Okay, so what I was saying was, oh, so I'm here by myself right now, so I have a few things I want to take care of before my roommate gets here. I guess not before, but so that I can record it by myself before she gets here, if that makes sense. I have a cup of coffee, you guys saw that at the beginning. I will not give you guys a house tour yet, but maybe it'll come in the future. The house is kind of a mess right now. I just had my sister's sleepover a couple days ago, and it was still kind of a mess when they came over. Dishes never end, you guys, okay? They never end. So anyways, I guess I can give you a quick overview of my room since I don't really care if it's messy. Why did it move? That was weird. Okay. Looks very similar to my room at home. Do you see this little plant here? If it focuses. There's a ton of succulents on it. Not a ton, but there's like six different succulents in it. And I want to transplant them into pots that I bought. Also, excuse my nails. Sorry, that's on the to-do list too. I bought some pots that my sisters and I actually painted yesterday. So I'm going to transplant some of them. Not all of them yet. Hopefully this works. But that's what you're gonna do with me. Oh, so I guess you'll kinda see the house. Sorry that it's messy. Here are the pots that my sisters and I painted. Take you guys outside. outside and I'm drinking hot coffee. 
Also, I'm really sorry that you can hear a lot of cars going by. I live on a busy street. Okay. I have palm and citrus potting mix. Hopefully this is good enough. Doesn't look like these have, oops, pedal just fell. Rocks in the middle, so, or in the bottom. I'm assuming the soil will be enough. So, there's kind of a lot to update you guys on. Um, I think I'm, I feel like I'm kind of just starting from the very beginning. Like, I don't know how many people were actually, actually regularly watching my YouTube channel. I don't know how regularly I will upload on my YouTube channel, so I don't know how much of a regular audience I can really expect to have. But anyways, let's see, how am I going to do this? Also, ow, this carpet is itchy. It's like, welcome that. the farmer's market said these root very easily so they should be okay oh I definitely need more soil in there but anyways oh, that carpet just hurts um so I guess a little bit about my life to, for it to really make sense I started college as soon as I graduated high school in 2014 and then I graduated college in 2018. I'm so scared my neighbors are going to come out and see me. Um, I graduated with an education degree for biology and math and I originate, originally like stuck with the biology because that's what I was studying when I switched from pre-med to teaching and it was just easier. I wanted to graduate on relatively on time so I decided to stick with biology. And I remember somebody asking me, I really should have recorded this outside on my deck, not my porch, but whatever. I remember somebody asking me, are you sure you don't want to do integrated science because that's more general science and you can teach a lot more? And I was like, nah, I don't really. Okay, so here's the first one. It looks a little unstable. See, it looks a little like it's shaky. But hopefully it'll root down and be okay. Anyways, somebody had asked me, and I was like, no, I don't really want to teach all sciences. I just really want to teach biology. Then I did my student teaching in an integrated science position because they couldn't find a biology position for me. So, I fell in love with middle schoolers, like, I loved working with middle schoolers. And I really wanted to keep working with middle schoolers, so I applied on a middle school, to a middle school science position out of a whim for last fall, so fall 2019. And I got the job with the condition that I would keep taking classes and end up getting the certification for integrated science. But I didn't end up, like, committing to that and then during quarantine you know you have all that time you go crazy and then you go sane so in my crazy stage I had applied to like master's degrees like master's programs 
And then in my sane stage, I came back to, I shouldn't be doing that because I still, because if I would want to do a master's, I would want to do it in special education or a subject that I would want to teach at the college level. But I'm not at that stage in my life, you know? I'm still in my early 20s, still figuring stuff out. I want to keep being a crazy middle school science teacher, or not crazy, wacky. <laughs> so, obviously I don't have the certification for it. And I had to leave the job that I had because I wasn't planning on getting the certification and because I moved. Okay, how is this gonna work? I think this is gonna have to be one of the ones I transplant. decided I was going to end up getting the integrated science certification hopefully in a year so that by next fall when there are a lot more or hopefully there will be more jobs for teachers the economy will be a little bit better then I will be able to apply to a middle school science position and with that, I should mention, I am not teaching this year because I couldn't find a job. I applied to, oh, I couldn't even tell you, maybe like 50 positions. Not all teaching positions because there weren't very many, but um, I also applied to a lot of like paraprofessional positions. So here's this one, sorry. This is the one my sister did like I did. I applied to a bunch of paraprofessional positions. I applied to a bunch of just like teacher assistant positions. Nobody was hiring. And the places that were like hiring for those positions were giving it to teachers they were laying off. Because COVID has just messed up our economy as expected but I'm not teaching this year I am nannying this year let me take a drink of my coffee and maybe with a little bit of soil in it <laughs> but yeah I'm not teaching this year I am nannying this year but I don't want the nannying to be all that I add to my resume when I apply in the fall I mean, additionally, I will be adding the certification of integrated science in my resume in the fall. But I wanted to add something else, especially because this is a time that a lot of teachers are adding something very unique to their resume. They will all now be able to say they taught remotely, learned how to teach remotely, and were able to apply that. I will not have that experience if I'm not teaching. Living in the city, guys. So different from living in the middle of nowhere. I think 
this one's the largest one, so it might have more roots. Oh, I'm making a mess on my front porch. Anyway, so as I was saying, I will not, I didn't want nannying to be, I still don't want nannying to be the only thing I'm adding to my resume when I apply in the fall, even though I am getting that certification for integrated science, hopefully, if everything goes well. Primero Dios. So, what I decided was, I would start a sciencey YouTube channel. So here's my plan. That a lot of students are learning remotely. I'm super passionate about science and although I'm not the most knowledgeable person out there, I um I know that I am passionate about learning science. I know that I am passionate about curiosity. I know that I love doing experiments. I mean, that's the number one reason I love science. So I want to be able to take all those things that I'm passionate about and put it into something I can add to my resume. And this YouTube channel that I have now is never anything I would add to my resume unless I were applying to something that was more social media technology based. However, a YouTube channel where I would be doing science experiments and having many lessons in science is so something, especially after this time period that we're going through where a lot of students are learning remotely, it's so something that I would add to my professional resume. So, I'm really excited about that. I will have an announcement soon enough of when like the first video is going up on there. There's this one. This is the ones that I made. Now I'm going to water them. Oops. And drink more coffee. But, that was my big announcement. Oh no, I got a bunch of soil on my welcome mat. Um, now to keep these decently okay, because I'm not transplanting them right now, I'm going to just add more soil into the pot they were already in. keep them outdoors for now. Thank you. 
And this is a cute watering can that my boyfriend got me. I branch in that one to keep it up straight. It's kind of crooked. There's the mess I created. And, sorry for my hair, I just took a shower, so it's post-shower hair. Also, I'm sorry that I keep looking at the viewfinder and not the actual camera. I'm going to have to relearn how to break that habit. But, good news, I get to bring Sparky with me here. Excuse my double chin. That is a video all on its own that I want to make eventually about like body image and how our bodies change, but let me set you down somewhere so I can conclude this video. back in the place we started the video sorry that that is really all I wanted to catch you guys up on I wanted to also include like a what do you call it oh a self-care night routine but maybe I'll leave that for Saturday or Sunday night and I'll just put off my doing my nails until then <laughs> but I hope that you guys enjoyed the little catch-up video um if you know of anyone that would be interested in my YouTube channel <laughs> go ahead and share my information with them <laughs> I love you guys so much. I hope I can continue doing these videos in the future because I don't know, there's something fun about this, therapeutic about it, something about a way of it keeping you accountable for your actions and your feelings and your and even validating you sometimes. And I have always wanted to create a community and an environment where people could feel safe and we could be positive but not toxic toxically positive is toxically a word <laughs> anyways so if you're at all interested in contributing to that kind of community 
then go ahead and subscribe share so i'll keep you guys updated on the you science youtube channel that was a long conclusion okay i love you guys so much i will see you guys next time thank you for always listening to me and just being there bye